juice. <sighs> Buenos dias, troncos. Today, me and Lara, what are we up to today? Going to a little village called Lira, where we are possibly going to be moving. So let's check that out. Wow. Lara also did just point out to me that it's pronounced Lidia. Lidia. L I R I A. Lidia. And in Valenciano? Gidia. Gidia. Double L. G G G G G G G G G G G G G G G or Lyria, whatever your preference is, I suppose. My name's Cameron Clark, welcome to my channel. Um, this channel is all about the expat life in Spain, and what I'll be doing is talking about my life in Spain, be doing tours of Spain, some Spanish reviews. If that's something you're interested in, do hit that subscribe button to follow along on this journey here. But for now, let's go check out Lyria, not Lyra, as I said earlier. Lyria, earlier, Lyria. Alright. I'm at the center, straight ahead. That away. I can park. So, we made it here to Lyria. We're just trying to find somewhere to park. To park? and then we'll go exploring and let's go all parked up now so firstly i think we're just gonna have a quick wander around see what we see and then uh, go and try and find some lunch so yeah let's have a, a look see what we find so you call these places where they sell tools and like a tool shop oh, vale. Vale. they have my slippers Here. Would you like to live on a street like this? No. No? A bit too busy, I think. In a chalet. In a chalet would be better. Yeah. Kind of looks like we're uh, heading into the quiet side of town at the moment just to see what's over here. Doesn't seem to be many people, just more, more houses and less flats, which could be good potential area for us to stay. the uh, strangest things about Spain you see here the uh, pharmacy lights it's always like a disco it's like <laughs> why, why are the pharmacy lights like that like a disco it's to make them to make the people aware that they have the medicine if they are uh -huh. in an emergency look at that this is crazy <laughs> actually quite well known for its musical history so I guess this is what this statue here is for one tall palm tree I mean just look at this thing it is absolutely huge Whew. Definitely bigger than this building. I have no idea about palm trees, but that must have taken a long time to grow. Look at it, wow. I'm impressed. Yeah, I could see myself living perhaps in this square, one of these flats, because it's not too busy at the moment. I don't know what it's like on a festival. 
there's not too many cars, quite quiet, it's quite nice. Finally eaten, we uh, didn't have any Spanish food, which is why we didn't film it, we were a bit naughty. Had the, uh, naughty. Had the, the comida de chino. <laughs> at there, at chino. restaurant chino, feliz. Yeah, estoy bien. Yeah, the one thing with Spain, everything kind of closes after lunchtime and it's almost like a complete and utter ghost town here, like no shops open anymore, everything's closed, which I suppose can be a good thing and a bad thing, I mean, depends how you look at it. Yeah, exactly, it's like, like this, this shop is closed. Yeah, this is an old cinema. Ah, an old cinema, Lara has just found. Well, and theatre. An old cinema and theatre. Yeah. And obviously it's closed, as I was just saying, because if everything closes midday because, I don't know, the Spanish uh, encanta la fiesta. Es verdad, ¿no? Hola, mm. mira, piano. Piano. We have to, we have to get that. Oh, my uh, Joby leg just fell off. It's not actually a piano though, it's just kind of stones. But I guess it looks looks a pretty piano? cool. Well it doesn't, doesn't a very you don't play but simulates a piano. Well, there's no moving parts, so it's more like a stone. Pretty well, stone. No, it's a piano because it's the musical centre as well. Ah, you see, I, I, as I was saying earlier, Lyria is the music capital of the area, is it not? How do you know that? Oh, you read it. I, I read it, yeah. Yeah, the, the musical band. The, mus the musical centre of... No, no, the, the, the music bands here mm. are well recognised all over the Valencian community for being one of the best ones. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, the more you know. So, that's probably why there's a piano stone in the middle of the street. Wasn't too much to show there at the last part. It was just uh, more, more houses, more flats. But before we do uh, a full, full yeah, circle. Probably in this, in this row, that is not right in the centre. Yeah. Easy to park. Easy to park. You would like. Connected with the main road, yeah. Valencia, 20 minutes. We're. Uh, Back full circle. So before you get in, Lara, would you, would you say, would you, uh, would you live here in Liria or Liria? Did you say? In Syria. In Syria. Would you live here? Yeah. Uh, oh. uh, so yeah, that uh, I suppose concludes our little visit to Guerilla or Liria. Uh, I think Lara. No, I said you would like to live here. We'll see what we can find online. If you did like this video, please do subscribe. Please hit subscribe. Um, this channel, I will be uh, talking about my life as an expat in Spain, maybe doing some like Spanish food reviews, and some tours of some villages, some hikes, things like that. If that's something you're interested in, as I say, do hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon as well. And until then, guys, hasta luego. Ciao.